too much longer. We're going to get a change of scenery soon enough. First and foremost, we want to go see Mayor Tress. Now, just saying, I still like how the mayor's name is Tress. I'm not making fun of cipher names. I'm just saying, this guy has, like, the best name ever for a political campaign. It's like, I can see, like, posters with this guy's face on it. Trust Trest and stuff like that. That would just be his entire campaign slogan. Hello, you saved us in our darkest hour. Justy couldn't do a thing knowing we were being held hostage. Honestly, if you hadn't arrived, I shudder to think what could have become of our city. Okay. Aw, oh, he doesn't say anything else. It's kind of a shame. Oh, well. All right. Now, I want to... Uh, do I want to give that to anyone? I probably do. I don't have a hold item for Billy Bob, and he is my lowest level Pokemon, so... I think I better. I also need to go heal. <laughs> Uh, jeez, it's just like, it's all about wild Pokemon to them. I mean, they've been reporting this, like, for how many days of real time at this point? It's just like, man, slow news month, wouldn't you say? Oh, <laughs> well. Uh, Swagger, which will uh, sharply raise your opponent's attack, but confuses them. This is important because when you attack yourself in confusion, you hit yourself with a typeless 30 power physical move. So you're making the damage do more, you're making them do more damage themselves, but you're kind of creating risk in the process. Wah, wah, wah. The scooter tires bogged down in the sand. It's impossible to go any further. Michael had to turn back to Fenac City. He's kind of smiling there for what's going on. And oh, Marsha and uh, Cameron. Ugh, such a bad pun. I do have to say, I do approve of them for actually having names that are clever for once. You might recall that they weren't here because they ran off as we got into Pyrite. This is their room. Oh, hello. Thanks for everything in Fenac. I've feared the worst since when Cypher caught us, but it turned out it was great. We're stoked about the awesome footage we shot. Okay. What do you have to say? Our Fennec news story is shaping up beautifully. Of course, you're a huge part of our story. Look forward to the broadcast again. You bet I will. By the way, how do you fit your clown shoes underneath this desk? Okay, I said that was going to be the last time that I talked about it, but still, it's just like, what is it with these models? Like, this game is not quite Kingdom Hearts level shoe sizes, but it's darn close. Like, I'm not crazy, right? Like, you guys see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not, like, just making crap up. They really are. Hey, what do you know? You have this. This is where it gets exciting. They say the Pokemon. They say it's a Pokemon that's never been discovered before. Yow! It's like, please have a look. Drumroll, please. <laughs> oh my god, I am so sorry. Those are some of the saddest Photoshop skills I have ever seen in a retail video game. <laughs> It's just a screenshot of Fennec with official artwork plopped over it. A really, really cheap drop shadow and just... A teardrop? While it's smiling? Why? What? And why does the photo have like four little things? Is this like a digital picture frame she's showing it to us on? Um, okay. Part of me wants to say that that bonsai doesn't belong to that little girl and just photoshopped up that picture very poorly and her grandpa is all like, I don't know nothing about these newfangled computers. She couldn't have fabricated these. Even though it does look awfully suspicious still, she can't draw it as well. And he just kind of came saying like, hey, get us a Pokemon that hasn't been discovered yet. <laughs> He'll be looking in the desert for the rest of his life. Why do I suddenly sound like Master Roshi? Oh well. And a little less pointless is, Remember this old woman here with her munchlax? I never got a chance to show this. When you go to a poke spot, there is a very, very slim chance that this can happen. Her munchlax will come up and eat all of your poke snacks, but to replace them, she will give you 10 of them. So it's kind of a nice way that you can get free poke snacks as compensation. It's a nice little cutscene in the world, and we have done a ton of things. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. What's going on? Hey, it's you again, old timer. Oh my my, I haven't seen you for a while. I understand you were quite the hero in Fennec City. Very impressive of you. Ho ho ho! Suddenly it all makes sense. He's Santa Claus! Interesting, that guy with the red hair that we saw at Mount Battle, he uh, was giving us special attention. 